Hello from the Forstronics YouTube channel and welcome to Introduction to Bluetooth Low Energy and the BLE Micro. So in this video we're just going to take a quick look at what Bluetooth Low Energy is and compare it to classic Bluetooth and then we'll talk a lot about getting started with the BLE Micro module which is a, a low cost, fairly low cost BLE module from DF Robot and it's a good module for makers. Let's get started. So the main thing to remember about Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE or Bluetooth Smart or Bluetooth 4.0 is it was made to to have lower power consumption. So it offers lower power consumption with the same or better communication range compared to classic Bluetooth. So here's a chart that shows a comparison of classic Bluetooth and Bluetooth Smart technology. The distance and range uh, is the same except Bluetooth Smart can be higher. It shows some different communication protocol pieces better error checking, and it also has better encryption, although I don't show that here. Uh, shorter latency, minimum time, uh, total time to send data is lower. And that's the, main thing, that's the main thing that's saving the power, because if we can transfer more data shorter, we can use the power amplifier less. And the power amplifier is what, when it transmits, that's, that's what eats up all the current. So that's the big power saver. Voice capability, you have it in classic and you don't have it in smart. I don't know too many details on that or why that is. You can see the power consumption comparison. And then the peak current. The peak current is the transmit current when you're transmitting. And you can see Bluetooth Smart or Bluetooth Low Energy is about half that. Now the one thing to remember when you're using Bluetooth Smart, and it depends on what year you watch this video, it is getting adopted. But if you have a computer that's a couple years old, like me, I have two computers that are a couple years old. Neither of them support Bluetooth Low Energy or Bluetooth Smart. And if you don't have a newer Android phone, uh, you're going to be left out. iOS got it fairly quickly, much faster than Android. Okay, so that's an introduction to Bluetooth Low Energy. Let's dive into the BLE Micro. And like I said, this is a module that's made by DF Robot. It's open source hardware, so you can find its parts and its schematic and everything online. It's low cost, which I like. It was under $10. I think it's about 9 bucks. And most of the other ones out there tend to be fairly expensive, so that's why I chose this one, because I'm cheap. You can even find cheaper ones. Since it's open hardware, there's some people that made their own, and they sell them on, uh, I don't know if you know the website, AliExpress, but you can get them for like 5 or $6 there. Of course, the, the quality could be questionable. Another thing I like about it is it uses the serial communication. It uses serial communication to pass data you know, back and forth over the uh, Bluetooth wireless link. It uses AT commands for configuration, and that's pretty common if you've used the HS, HC06 or the XB Zigbee models. They use this AT command type configuration, and I'll show examples of that. It uses this TI chip. Something important to know, the, the chip itself is like a microcontroller. You can see a bunch of different connections on it, but what it has in it is code to make it just act like mainly like a transparent serial link to Bluetooth. So if you wanted to hack it and, and do your own thing with the built-in microcontroller capabilities, you can. But for the most part, if you're just using it as this Bluetooth link, you're just going to be using a couple of those pins. And there's a wiki. And the wiki is going to have all the different AT commands. It has a tutorial on how to use them and so on and so forth. I'll show some examples of it, but I'll even show the wiki. So let, yeah, let's look at that. Let's look at uh, the AT commands. For AT commands... Basically what this does to put it in the AT command mode or command mode is it allows you to change the settings on the, the module. So by putting this AT command you could mode, you can change some of the, you can use AT commands to change the settings such as the name or so on and so forth. Now there's two ways to connect to it and put it in AT command mode. The first is using the Bluetooth link. You can connect to it from your Bluetooth smart or Bluetooth low energy device or you can connect to it via serial, and that's what I'm going to show in this example. Now, if you do connect to it over Bluetooth, it's going to ask for a password uh, to put in AT command, and the, the default password is DF Robot. There's also an app for it that you can use to change the AT commands or just to send serial data to it, and I'll, I'll show an example of that app, but it's for iOS, and it's called Bluno Term. Okay, for serial, you can use an FTDI cable or a board, and I'll be using the FTDI basic board. I have the 3.3 volt version. I should have mentioned the BLE Micro is 3.3 volts. 
So I'll show an example of that. Now, another thing, though, is if you don't have this, you can use your Arduino Uno to program it over serial. And I've showed this example in other videos, but you essentially connect the reset pin to ground. By doing that, you, you take the Uno chip out of the equation, and you're just really trying to use that other chip on the Uno board that, that does the serial programming. You then connect the receive pin to the receive pin on the BLE, which is essentially the transmit pin on the serial chip that you're connecting to. But for the UNO, the RX pin to the RX pin on the BLE, uh, use a voltage divider. Be sure to use a voltage divider because the UNO is 5 volt logic and the BLE is 3.3. And then you connect the transmit pin to the transmit pin. So that's one way to do a serial connection so you can put it in AT command mode. This is the way I'm going to use. You can see my setup or my, my connections. And one thing I will mention is the, the BLE micro is actually fairly small. Be sure you can proto it before you buy it. And I, I basically had a PCB built for it. And I'll actually provide a link to my Eagle files if someone wants to, to use it. I made a mistake on my first iteration, but I'm going to correct it and I'll, I'll post that link. Anyway, so make sure you, you can properly prototype the board. They do sell other versions of it, the BLE Micro on other things that make it more easy to prototype, like they have it on this sort of XB footprint type board. But anyway, here's how I'm going to use it with the FTDI Basic. Okay, here's a video of me doing the AT commands. And here I am at the wiki. I'm scrolling through the, the web page. I stop here just to show you. So I'm, if you're using the Arduino uh, serial terminal, which I, that's what I'm going to use, uh, to put in AT command, you do three pluses and you press send and you want no line ending, meaning you just want the three pluses. You'll get this reply from the BLE micro, enter AT mode. Now here's all the different AT commands it's showing. And I'm just going to show an example uh, to get the name of the BLE mo module or the BLE micro and how to change the name. So I just have a blank sketch here. I'm going to the serial monitor. It opens. I have no line ending. Notice that on the bottom. And uh, I first, I paste in the wrong thing. So first I got to put in AT command mode. I press send. I do my three pluses. There, I'm in enter AT mode. Now I want to do a line ending and a character return. So you need that once you want to send a command. So I just sent the command asking what its name was. And it told me BLE dash link. Now I'm changing the name to Forstronics. So AT plus name equals Forstronics BLE. So I send that and it says OK. Now I actually make a mistake here. I check the name. So I'm checking the name I just changed it to, and I did too many characters, so you can see it cut off that last E. So then I just put a different name in. I put, uh, I think, Force T B L E, just to make it shorter. And then that's that basically works. So that's basically what I changed my name to. So that's just an example of using the AT commands. We're going to have to use some more later. Okay, so let's look at an example using the BLE, and I'm going to do two examples. I'm going to do one communicating it with a, um, an iOS device that has BLE capability, and then I'm going to show an example using two BLE micros communicating with each other. So here's my example setup, and I've used this in other videos, but basically I have it connected to my Arduino Pro Mini. So I'm using a Pro Mini in this, connect, this example. I have my connections, my RX, to my TX on the Pro Mini and the RX from the Pro Mini to the TX on the BLE Micro. Then I have VDD and then I have ground, VDD is 3.3. I have pin 7 of my Arduino and you can use any pin you want, but I chose pin 7, digital pin 7. I have an LED with a resistor there. And basically what we're going to do is turn on and off that LED. I do want to mention I'm using the Pro Mini, the I'm actually using the 3.3 version of the 3.3 volt version of the Pro Mini. So I don't have to do any voltage level shifting for my logic because it's all 3.3 volt logic. Now, if you're using a 5 volt logic like the Uno, you're going to want to put a voltage divider on that transmit pin for the Uno. So you're, so you're converting it down to 3.3 volts uh, logic. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Arduino sketch that we're going to use for this example. So I create my LED pin. Here's my setup code. The BLE Micros, its default serial speed is 115, 200. I then set up my pin, my digital pin for the LED. 
scroll all the way down. The loop is fairly simple. I'm just going to loop around. I'm going to read, wait for there to be serial data. I'm going to read it in, and then I'm going to check if it says on. In lowercase, if it says on, I'll turn the LED on, and then I'll write back to the device that the LED is on. And then if the serial reads off, I'm going to set the pin to low, and I'm going to write back that the LED is off. So it's just a simple sketch. So there's not going to be any uh, action here. I'm just going to show a picture, but this is the first example using uh, the iOS app, the, the Bluno term. And so I use this on my iPad. First, you've got to pair the Bluetooth device and the iPad settings with the iPad. Then you go into this app, and this app worked right away, it connected for me. Now, one thing that I was confused about, the user interface isn't great, but up here where this off is, that's where you're going to type in your thing. So I typed in on, and then I send it, and they give you a timestamp here. That turns my LED on, and I know that because I got this reply, LED is on. I then typed in off, sent it, and then I got the reply, LED is off. And I'll, I'll show a live example, but this is the first example just using the iOS app. Now for our second example, we're going to use the same Arduino sketch and the same setup for the first BLE. So we have that first BLE connected to our Arduino. And what we want to do is we want to get the MAC address from it. So we'll go into command mode. You do your AT plus MAC equals question mark. And then you don't have to actually write this in. Just remember to use the carriage return and uh, line feed. And it'll return the MAC address. So we need the MAC address of the first BLE micro to feed into the second BLE micro so it knows which uh, BLE device to connect with. So that's on the first BLE micro. We don't actually change anything. We just need to get its MAC address. For the second BLE micro, and for this BLE micro, I'm going to connect it to my PC using a serial connection so I can write things through a serial monitor. Okay, what did I say so far? So I'm going to use my F. TDI basic board to connect it to my PC to interface it to my PC and then I'm going to type the following AT commands so I'm going to put it in AT mode AT command mode and then I'm going to change its role to central so that makes it more of a, a master role so it can connect to other devices the other BLE its default is is peripheral so that one's in peripheral this one's in central I then I'm going to send the uh, MAC address of the first one and, and bind it to the second BLE micro. So I'm telling it, save this address because I'm going to want you to connect to it. And I, I'm using the default address that they have on their, uh, their wiki. But of course, you have to get your own off of there, off your uh, first BLE. Then I'm going to send the AT command for who can it connect to. And I say unique. And unique means it will only try to connect to the, the BLE module that it's binded to. And that was created with the MAC address. The default is anyone. And so the first BLE micro is in the anyone mode. This one's going to be in the unique mode. Okay, here we have my BLE micro connected to my Pro Mini. You can see the red LED. It's off right now. You can see the resistor. You can see a power supply in the background. That's what's powering both those items. And actually, you can see my, uh, my shield for the BLE micro. Once again, I'll link the Eagle files if anybody wants to use that. I did make a mistake on this version, so I'm doing another version, but I'll link the, the newer version, not the mistake version. So that's my BLE Micro 1. This is the one that's acting as a peripheral device. Then I pan out, and I'm going to my other one. So here's my other one connected to the FTDI Basic, which is then connected to my Mac, and you can see my serial monitors on. So I'm going to type in the word on, and I'm going to send it from one from my computer to the BLE micro to the other one, and you can see the words LEDs on. Then you can actually see, if you look closely, it's hard to tell, but the LED is on. Take my word for it. Then I go back and I type in the word off. I'm going to send that, and I get the reply LED is off, and you can see the LED is off. So, simple example. First, we looked at using the app, using an uh, iPad to communicate with the BLE Micro, because once again, everything has Bluetooth. Unfortunately, everything doesn't have Bluetooth low energy, but that's coming soon. And then I showed an example using two BLE Micro modules communicating. 
In this video, we did an intro to Bluetooth Low Energy, and we spent a lot of time looking at the BLE Micro and how to use it. For me, the reason I wanted to get to know Bluetooth Low Energy is it's going to be in every device in the future. It's going to be a fairly ubiquitous wireless standard. So I wanted to get it into my lab and start playing with it. I hadn't used it until, until now. So anyway, if you want to get the Arduino code we saw, go to my blog. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also on my blog, I'll link the Eagle files for the board I was working on for the uh, tiny BLE Micro. Thank you for watching.